Um, in terms of women and computing, it's uh, two steps forward, seven steps back. And I think at the moment we are slightly the seven steps back. Uh, I think the issue is the education of uh, mathematics and science. It's still problematic. And in the countries where that works better, you get more women in computing. In the countries where the science education is poor, like in UK, you get the, the hindrance. And so it's changing, and I can see women actually emerging in games. The recent uh, conversations about Gamergate have kind of brought it to the fore that, yes, women are pushing in, and like any art, women will be there, but it takes a lot of pushback from people who got the first, which is the boys. So we are negotiating that as games go mainstream, both the producers and the consumers are mainstream, which is both genders. And so there's a lot of wonderful women like Robin Honecke, who creates games like Phenomenon and Luna. I mean, she's absolutely amazing. And you can see the impact of bringing women's creativity to games is going to be fantastic. But it is going to be a war because we have to reclaim the territory. So the mainstream consumption of games means that people are exposed to it more and more, and therefore girls are exposed to it more and more, and they decided that they actually want to play too. Uh, and I think it's a wider change in the society that you know, men drift more into heterosexual concepts. So even masculinity is being redefined, I think, from very extreme kind of macho men and alpha male, that's sort of fallen behind slightly and I think men are negotiating their own sexuality so it's probably changed in men more than it's changed in women. Women were always you know knocking at the door but the door was always closed. Well now I think the door is opening a bit because men are changing um, and when I look at games I've noticed that a lot of my male friends are beginning to slightly object to the massively exaggerated notion of masculinity in these games. I mean you know not everybody goes around with a six-pack what does it mean to be the Superman? I mean, it's quite hard work, I would think. So a big part of the change, which is undoubtedly happening, is that men are changing and women are less different. And I've noticed that on a big research we've done on brands recently, that a lot of consumers said they actually want products and advertising that is less gender specific, that they don't, want, they don't think over feminine products are really going to sell. They want more unisex products. And I think that's the same with the games. We, we're all looking at being a bit closer to each other, therefore looking at games that are more unisex. So less macho, less alpha male, but also less pink, clad, big boobs, heroids that are kind of Lara Croft types. I think that's sort of falling off. But you know, it's a big negotiation. It will take a long time.